Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I also hope you are good, okay? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, Concept Getters. We are back at getting the concept of this proof. I know I've done this before, back when I didn't have the resources for a proper video. You get it? So, guys, let's look at this one, guys. Let's look at this one. This one, we are proving that AB over BD is equal to AC over CE. So you know what I prefer that you start with? Start with the construction. Construct the altitude. Remember, our altitude will always come from the middle point. When you look at B, you see this B here. And you also look at C. You see this C here. Those are our middle points, okay? So your altitude will always come from those middle points. And those middle points will also be the, the top vertices for our triangles. Do that make sense? So when I'm looking at angle A, B, C, my top vert vertex will be C. And when I'm looking at triangle ACB, my top vertex will be B. When I'm looking at triangle BDC, you see BDC, this one here, this one here, my top vertex will be this, okay? And when I'm looking at triangle CEB, CEB, you see this one, my top vertex will be B. So that's how it is, guys. Our B and our C, which are our middle points on this diagram, will always be our top vertices. Now, here's the trick. When you look at the RTP, you can see that we have AB and AC as our top sides on the RTP, which is what you are required to prove, right? Those AB and AC sides are also sides of the same triangle, AB and AC. So the top sides are always from the same triangle, or let me rather say it because it's the common triangle. I'm going to start with that one. And then now let's look at the bottom sides on the RTP. When you're looking at the bottom sides on the RTP, which is BD and CE, those are our bottom triangles. Remember, I'm going to say BD and I always move to the, to the middle point to make it this, right? And also, when you look at CE, it's also at the bottom triangle, which is CE to B. So I'm always moving to the middle. So these middle points are very important. Okay, guys, I'm always going towards them. Even our altitude, when I'm drawing my altitudes, you can see when I was drawing the K, it was always coming from B to one of the sides at the top triangles. And when I was drawing H, I was always moving from C to one of the sides at the top of triangles. Okay? Then I joined B, E. You see always from the middle. C, B, C, D to, make our, uh, to get our constructed. So now, every time when you prove this theorem, you're going to start with construction. You're going to construct what? You're going to say construction, altitudes K and H relative to basis AC and AB in triangle ABC. That's going to be your first point. Then you're going to say BD, I mean BE and DC are joined. Do that make sense now? Remember, B and C are repeated. Those are the middle ones. Okay? Once you understand that one now, now, this is now another trick. You know, guys, this proof is full of tricks. The way I do it, guys, it's full of tricks. Now, let's, let, let, let's, let, 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 let's just forget about the construction because everybody can teach you that, right? Now, let me show you how to do this one first. The first thing I prefer doing is finding the triangles, the area of triangles that are equal. I'm just going to look at the top one. You see the top one here, AB. I'm going to look at AB and AC. I'm going to equate them. I'm going to say area of ABC. Then A, C, B. Do that make sense? Basically, it's A, B, C. You see? Then A, C, B. I'm starting with the sides that are given on the question. Do that make sense? And I equate their area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say area of triangle what? A, B, C equals to area of triangle A, C, B. So let's write it. I'm going to say area of triangle A, B. Check how I start with AB, then I say C to the middle point, right? It's equal to area of triangles. Now I'm going to start with AC. I'm going to say AC, which is this side, right? Then I end with B. Then I'm going to say B. I'll think of the reasons later. I'm just going to leave space for a reason here. I'm going to write my reason here underneath, okay? Then I'm going straight to... The next one, remember, I'm only equating area before areas before I start with my fractions. So I'm going to go to the bottom. When you look at the bottom, look at the bottom, guys. When you look at the bottom, you'll see that BD 
and CE are these sides. But then if we are looking for triangles, I'm going to say BD what C, right? So I'm just going to write it. I'm going to say, I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to say area of triangle BDC is equal to area of triangle. Let's see now. Here we have CE. You see on our RTP, CE is this one, which means I'm going to say CE what? Remember, we're always moving to the middle point of the diagram, which is B. So I'm going to say area of triangle CE B. If you haven't noticed, all our areas will always end with C or B. C or B, always. And they start with what? They will always start with the sides that are on our, or with the sides that are on our RTP, always. So it starts with the side on the RTP and ends with a B or a C. Start with the side on a RTP, then ends with a B or a C. Even here, starts with B, D, ends with a C. Starts with C, E, then ends with a B. Easy, right? So that's how you're going to remember it. Then I'm going to say with uh, the ones at the top is ease. I mean, come on, A, B, C, A, C, B is the same one. So according to geometry or Euclidean geometry, we know that when the area is the same thing, what you're going to say? You're going to say common. So here I'm just going to write common, right? But now for this one, what am I going to say? The ones at the bottom, you'll see that these two triangles are between two parallel lines. So I'm just going to say, triangles between between what parallel lines right with same base if you remember this you'll say b c d you see b c d and you say b c e you see they share the same base b c and they are between parallel line b c and d e so that's going to be your reason. Once you are done with those two reasons and equating the areas, the sides on my RTP will always be the sides that are going to be left. And everything else is going to be easy. So same fraction. Now the trick is same fraction will get the same, the same perpendicular height. So AB and BD, you see, they're going to get the same perpendicular height. So I'm going to say... So I'm going to say half. That's what I'm always going to write. I'm just going to put the half here. I'm going to put the half here and I'm going to give them the same perpendicular height, which is H. I'm going to write half of AB. Then the perpendicular height of AB was what? Was H. So I'm going to say H over half of BD, then H, right? Then you say equals to half of AC. Now it's going to be K, right? Over Half of what CE, then you put K. Always. Guys, as long as you start with the two areas, you equate them. The next step, you just go straight to the RTP and check which altitude is parallel to this base. Whatever that is parallel to this base will be for this base, BD. Whatever that is parallel to AC will be parallel to this. That's what you need. Then you put a half, 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 half everywhere. You say H on one side, K on another side. If the H and K were, were swapped, you're going to put the K on this side, H on another side. Then the next step is easy. You just cancel the halves. It's if like you didn't put them there. You just cancel the halves. Then you're going to say, therefore, AB over BD is equals to AC over CE. That's all. That's all what, guys, come on. Remember the first step, construct. Construct what? Altitude K and H, right? And also join BE and CD. Then what you do, you say triangle ABC equals to triangle ACB. Makes sense. Then you say triangle BDC equals to triangle CEB. When you are done, you go straight, guys. You go straight. Remember, guys, you go straight, right, to the RTP. You just put the halves just be, 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 before the A, B, B, D, A, C, C, E. Then on another side, you're going to put the H's on one side, the K's on another side based on where the altitudes are. Then you just cancel them, right, which is the step. You cancel them. Then you say, therefore, you rewrite the RTP. That's the flow. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Now let's go in here. We're going to say in here, we're going to say whoop. Don't forget to subscribe. How?